I'm Steve for This Week With Cards, and today I'm back with my 1972 TBR 2500M. In the first video, when I got the car running, I didn't mention it, but you can hear the water pump did not sound that great. A couple years later now, and the water pump hasn't gotten any better. So first thing today, I want to replace the water pump. Here's the water pump, but to loosen this belt so I can get it off, I'll have to loosen up the alternator to release the tension first. The alternator is loosened as much as it can because it's hitting the block now. So I'm going to pry the belt off. To remove the water pump, there's just three bolts that hold it on. All the nuts are loose now. Let's see if we can get it loose. You can see how bad the bearing is there. I have my new water pump here, so you can see it spins freely, no other movement in it. But if we compare that to the old one, it sounds terrible when you spin it. And look at that movement. The bearing there is completely shot. It's amazing that it wasn't leaking more than it was. I'm surprised that it was holding water. But I do love this water pump design. You don't have to unbolt a fan and you don't have to unbolt any hoses on it. The water pump can easily be replaced just on its own. You don't have to take anything else loose. There's a lot of gasket material left on here. So I'm going to use my super scraper and get this cleaned up. That looks clean enough, I'll put the new water pump on. I put a very thin coat of gasket maker on the gasket.
I'm going to use all new nuts and lock washers. Now I just need to top it back up with antifreeze. Let's start it up and check for leaks. Everything looks good and the water pump is much quieter. Since I'm doing a little bit of servicing on this car, I decided let's change the oil and the oil filters as well. This car does not have the usual oil setup. There is an AccuSump right here underneath the spare tire. And then below that, you can't see them from here, but there are two oil filters beneath the AccuSump. And if you happen to spot this and wondered what this little black box connected to the battery is, this is a tiny ultra capacitor. The engine in this TVR is pretty high performance and this tiny battery, which is the only battery that can fit in this spot, is pretty small. So to help it out, I put an ultra capacitor in there. And ever since I put on the ultra cap, I haven't had any problems starting the engine. Here on the side of the block is where the oil filter would normally be. But instead we have some hoses that go up front to the AccuSump as well as to the two oil filters. So it's just a matter of draining the oil here and then replacing the two oil filters. This filter remover is a really cool device. This gets me out of a lot of jams. That's going to be it for today. I'd still like to take this car to an autocross or two. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.